and just like that, we're live once again. This is a little bit loud. With another Tower of God chapter reaction. This is exciting stuff, guys. Welcome to everyone who can make it to the stream. Another episode of Tower of God. Dude, do you guys remember when there was a hiatus? When we had to go weeks without a chapter? Freaking insane, right? I honestly, how did we do it? How did we survive for like over a year? I, I don't know because at this point, SIU is spoiling us with these, with the current layout of chapters. It's nuts, it's nuts. But I'm super excited to see you all. Welcome to the stream. Today we're reacting to Tower of God, chapter 515 or episode 98 of season three. Who do we have in the chat? We have uh, Wardast, our wonderful mod. What's going on? We have Silly, what's poppin' gamers? Mr. Dot, Lady, Amethyst, Sir Yerkes, Nenu, Bruna Neptune, Mugen, Jayesh, uh, Kunugara Anya's JDB, the Prince of Ithaca. Welcome, everyone. So, all right. My question before we even get started is, are we gonna, are we, are we gonna see the dream team again? The dream team, all right? I'm always saying we're gonna do a review, like we always do, of the previous chapter. But last episode, freaking Vicente was there. Freaking Kun Marco Asensio, Hua Ryun, Aria, Kun, Rack, Bomb. It was like everyone was like walking together and it was kind of insane. It was kind of the craziest thing I've ever seen. Joe, I love you, says yo. Hey, what's up, yo? Right back at ya. Good morning from India. Hey, what's up? Good morning back to India from America. America. Let me quickly post on the Discord, but I hope y'all had a wonderful day. I hope y'all are having a wonderful holiday season if you celebrate and all that. We are live. I'm gonna add a lot of exclamation points. Why the, f why not? Why not? You know, there's nothing stopping me. Okay, so we have a few minutes left before the chapter. You're two minutes late. You're good, Kirby's too. The first couple minutes of every stream I've ever done has been just me trying to figure out what my mood is, trying to figure out <laughs> what to talk about, and me being like, ah, hello, what's going on? You know, so it's all good. It is all good. So last time, a lot of stuff happened. I thought for sure, dude, I thought for sure we were going to cut to Doom and Yama versus uh, freaking Yasracha. But apparently, SIU had different plans. Apparently, he had different plans. Let me... Boom. You can't see it. Apparently, he had different plans because we didn't even get to see Doom, Paul, or Yama... Or, sorry, Doom, Yama, or Yasracha a single time. Here we go. The chapter begins with yet another flashback to Joaquin. How? How many flashbacks are we gonna get? Because... I can't believe how much focus he's getting, man. It's like it's his own arc again, you know? Who'd have thought that Joaquin slash White would be the one to dominate the, uh, <laughs> the nest arc, you know? Like, dude, White, stop it. This is a Lopobia arc, my friend. You're in the wrong neighborhood, you know? You're supposed to be the main character of the REA arc. You gotta chill out, dude. But White has been getting flashback after flashback Making me forget all about Yasracha. I'm just kidding. Calm down. And, dude, this was so insane. At first, I thought SIU had maybe retconned. And SIU has retconned a couple of things in the past, but mostly just, like, blog post stuff. He, if he retcons something, it's usually something he said in a blog post or, like, a character profile he once made, and it turns out it's actually something different. If you don't know, that's exactly what happened with Yama. So Yama's previous backstory was that he was basically the owner of a... Uh, not a floor. He was basically, like, a, like a gang leader of a floor-slash-area where he, like opened up like brothels and he had gambling and he basically made a lot of money and it was called like Bay Road and he was like the king of Bay Road and he was the only the only um canine or something and he was like he had a master but he broke free of the leash completely changed it um and you could chalk that up to like oh maybe that story was just like rumors or something but the real Yama is obviously just a little puppy dog so I don't know SIU will sometimes alter blog post stuff. 
Do you, is there another example of this? I'm curious. I'm trying to think of another example of a retcon. I mean, so, so SIU did change. Uh, <laughs> this blows. Okay, I'm getting so off topic, but I have to talk about this whenever I can because this freaking kind of blows my mind, man. I don't know how this happened, but Barrow Barrow used to have a freaking tail. All right, I don't know what this was. I don't know what SIU had going on. And I know what you're thinking, right? Oh, he probably just ret- uh, he- it was probably just another creature behind Barrow Barrow. You know, it's not like Barrow Barrow used to have a tail or anything. I, like, what- like, how does that happen? Like, did- was SIU planning to have Barrow Barrow be, like, a major character who's, like, related to a knock? I'm kidding. Obviously not. But I always find it funny when I re I reread the chapters and I'm like, excuse me, Barrow Barrow? I don't remember that. But anyway, not that it really matters. But like little details, he'll sometimes change, of course. Le Ro Ro used to look like a freaking alien from outer space. You know, it was kind of wild. So anyway, so <laughs> back on track. Vicente showing up once again with Joaquin. And we find out this isn't, dude, by the way, looking clean. This isn't a retcon. This isn't SIU changing his mind. But Joaquin opens up to Vicente about his hunger, right? And how he has ambition. He wants to beat his father. I feel thirst, thirst for power. And Vicente says, I feel the same. I feel the same. I also ran away from Father's Sword. That's why I'm reading this book. And you find out the book he's holding is the demon book. And at first I was like, wait, so he introduced Joaquin to the demon book, but no, I wasn't the only one who mastered the spell. Perhaps he mastered it before me, which I think is really important because it places Joaquin's siblings almost on the same level as Joaquin in a way. I don't mean that like a hundred percent, but almost like everyone is now more or less on the same playing field in a way. You know, it's almost like, okay, Joaquin isn't the only one of the siblings that matters. Like, Vicente also had ambition. Vicente was also extremely gifted at swordplay, and he also mastered the spell of soul eating before Joaquin. Like, that's insane, you know? There's a lot going on there. There's a lot going on. Hey, what's up, Christian? Don't worry, you made it on time. It's all good. We cut back, his hair ch I feel like this was the last chapter? It feels like this was three weeks ago that we saw this. Freaking insane. And then, boom, Asensio! Freaking Asensio shows up, and he basically has a conversation with Nanatona. Nanatona tries to be like, oh, I never trusted Yesracha. Like every other one of Yesracha's allies, it seems like everyone wants to, you know, betray Yesracha, apparently. I follow out of fear. I mean, it makes sense, you know what I mean? But what's weird about Nanatona is he's not even a feline. But I guess Yesracha gifted him the feline power because he's, he's a mouse. You know, there's a rabbit race with Shia Shia, there's a lizard race with a knock, there's the bird people, there's the cat people, the dog people. He's a mouse, you know what I mean? So it's like, how the how are you a feline? So I, I'm inclined to kind of believe him, but like, I, I, I don't care, man. And Atona's trash. He's trash, dude. Look at how much he's sweating. This guy is freaking a loser, though. He's such a loser, bro. Don't tell anyone what happened. Dude, Asensio is a beast. This panel freaking cracked me up, too. Why won't my water? What's up, water? Why won't you drink? There we go. Much better. But is that white? He's smaller, blah, blah, blah. And this is where the squad kind of comes together. Vicente basically says, hey, don't mess with me, whatever. I can control him. You guys don't have time. And finally, you know, brings up Jin Sung, who I feel like we've seen him a little bit, but the whole point of this war was to rescue Jin Sung, and Bomb has, you know, he freaking went, he went cuckoo when he heard about Prince and Arcraptor, so, you know. It's annoying, but he's right. 
I love him. Nanatona's design is fine, but he's trash, bro. <laughs> He's so tra- he 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 blew up Kuhn, quote unquote. You know, Kuhn's fake death for the three hundred and thirty sixth time, three hundred and thirty seventh time, and he was like cackling, like he just accomplished something. It's like, bro, you just blew up a regular. Like, good job. He's trash, bro. Look at the dream team. Arya's like fixing her hair. You got Asensio in the hood. Vicente walking through like he's Jesus. I mean, with his cloak and everything, and then bomb chilling in the lighthouse. Freaking insane. But he, he even like comments on it. Why is everyone following us? Uh, because you're a team, Coon. Just embrace it, bro. You gotta embrace it, dude. I love how Arya's like feeling for the, <laughs> the line where she was beheaded. <laughs> Imagine getting beheaded and then finding out you're alive again. I'd probably do the same thing. Like, what? Jeremy Joestar, thank you for the $2 super chat. Jeremy Joestar, frequent supporter of the channel. Is love gonna do anything this arc? The correct answer is no. I, dude, I've given up hope. Every time there's an opportunity for love to do something, it's always another character and it's fine. It's great. I love Asensio. I love Cha. You know, every time a savior ranker has shown up, I love these characters. But I think Love is just surfing the waves. He just gave up on the mouse, bro. A ridiculous party indeed. Dude, look at this squad. Also, can we talk about the fact that Chibi Rack is huge? Can we talk about this? Because I feel like I'm used to Chibi Rack being tiny. But now Chibi Rack is like the same size. He's like up to Coon's shoulder. Am I wrong in saying that's like a little bit like, whoa, he did not used to be that big. I feel like he adjusted almost, you know? Kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Am I wrong? Am I, did I just misremember that? I don't know, but it's funny to me. It's funny how he's small, but still like relatively the same size, you know? His nose is pointing up. I guess that's a good point. But still, like, even so, he's still, like, up to Kuhn's, like, elbow, you know? Like, that's still kind of nuts. He thick? I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. And then, talk about god- Dude, we get, like, five- Dude, the goddesses arrive. Because not only did we have Arya and Vicente, right? Who I'm considering a goddess. I mean, come on, obviously. Hua Ryun shows up and it's like, be still my heart. Like, stop. I'm an Iwa fan, Hua Ryun. Get off panel, because you're scaring me right now, okay? But you thought I was talking about her being a goddess. No, 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 no. I'm talking about Yule, man. I'm talking about the true goddess of Tower of God. Look at this boy. And <laughs> Kel back here. <laughs> SIU went, doot, doot, and he's done. Oh, man. You even brought along these weirdos. Let's hurry before Jin Sung Ha gets locked up in the suspendium. This is the threat. Getting locked in suspendium basically forever. And I've seen some people theorize that Bomb is going to get locked in suspendium and we're going to get a massive time skip. That would blow my mind. I don't think SIU is going to do anything that crazy because that would be insane. But I, li I like the thought. I like the thought. So we need to get over one last wall. I believe, before we get to the suspendium. Look at this snake. This snake has been around since the age of Genesis, bro. And then we have Mashini, Goddess Mashini, bro. Looks like the Irregular cleared the game. He'll be here soon. Will that boy really meet my expectations? I'm curious. And then Jin Suk says, don't come, Bomb. The one waiting in front of here is too... If he's talking about the family head, if he's talking about the family head, I don't know, bro. I mean, there's no way. There's no way, man. That's not happening. Like, that's too much. It's too much. Unless Bomb gets mollywopped, in which case, okay, I'm kind of down to see it, you know? But. <laughs> There's people who genuinely believe Bomb can beat the family head. And it just kind of blows my mind a little bit. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, whoops. Sorry. 
So, <laughs> if you don't know... <laughs> okay, really quick, I know the chapter's about to drop. My mind is always in Towers and Gods zone. If you don't know what that is, it's D&D plus Tower of God. We do it on the channel every week. <laughs> so every time I get an idea, I'm like, I gotta write it down. I gotta write it down right now. I got an idea just from looking at these panels. Just a little bit of an idea, you know what I'm saying? All right. There it is. Yo, that was that was actually kind of nice. I didn't have to hit refresh like a billion times in a row. It's out. It's out. Here we go. Tower of God. Season 3. Episode 98. Oh shoot, we're cutting to Yama. Okay, it, that's totally fair, man. We didn't get Yama at all last chapter, which blew my mind a little bit. I thought for sure it was gonna be Yama focused. So, all right, here we go. Tower of God, episode 98, AKA chapter 515. I'm guessing it's gonna be mostly, you know, Yama versus Yasracha. If it is Yama versus Yasracha, we're gonna get the Yasracha transformation. And I think we're gonna get the Yama. Dude, we have to get a Yama transformation, bro. He has the second fang now. It's over, dude. I don't know what Yasracha thinks he can do. Unless he surprises me. But there's, again, there's no way Yama loses three times in a row. I'm okay with this. It's a good story that's being set up. A lot of good setup. But I'm just curious how it's, like, exactly executed. You know what I'm saying? So, before we, before we begin... I'd appreciate it greatly if you did leave a like, if you enjoy Tower of God, if you enjoy me making content. I know I haven't been uploading a lot recently, but it's because I kind of had a bit of burnout. But 2022 is a big year for me. I want to get back to uploading and making a lot of content. I think after a couple weeks, you know, of just resting and, you know, doing the holiday stuff, I think I'm gonna come back like really excited to just make stuff and make videos for you guys. So appreciate your patience, you know. Um, but every like matters, every subscribe matters, so it'd mean a lot to me if you did so. And with that being said, let's dive in to episode 98, bro. We're almost at episode 100. That's crazy. All right, dude, he's he got him good. You see this little, like, bludgeon on his face? Is that the right word? Totally. Smacking him in the face? All right, Yama. Bam. What can you do with such a weak punch? He's slashing. He's smiling though. Yama is having the time of his life. Why? The question is why? Clearly, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'll say it again. Yama saw something in that flashback. Yama saw something, bro. Yama saw something. He's smiling? Yeah, he learned. He learned something about you. He learned something about you, bro. <laughs> Don't forget about Doom. Doom's like, I'm here too. <laughs> is he just like dodging attacks? Is that all that Doom is doing? <laughs> Freaking Doom, bro. He's going in. Okay. I got you. All right. Let's go, Yama. How foolish. What's he doing? What's he doing? Did you think you could take me down just by flying at me? You're way too cocky, bro. You're way too cocky. Yama's gonna be like, yep, that's right. Yep, look at him. Look at this man, bro. I, I love it. I feel like Yama was so hyped, and every time he got to shine, he got outshined. He got outdone by Kel Halam or Yasracha, you know? Give him some action. Let him have some fun. Has he completely lost it? Oh, get absolutely wrecked, bro. That punk. Was he always this strong? No, he... You saw what happened. What are you talking about? You saw what happened, bro. Also, sick shot of Yama looking clean. You, he literally saw what happened, right? With the fang. Like, I mean, come on, dude. This fight is fun. <laughs> he, he had to add two periods. All right. It's fun. Stop. Oh, he's getting angry. Yes, Racha. Take a chill pill. Eat a Snickers. Kidding me! Atomic strike. Okay, okay, okay. He caught him. He caught him. Did you know I did kill your father? 
but the one who let him do his death. I did kill your father, but the one who led him to his death was the leader of the Lopobia family. I feel like we already kind of knew that because the leader didn't like romance, apparently. Didn't like the fact that Yama's father was, you know, <laughs> it was, he, the leader of the Lopobia family was like, hey, Yama's father, here's a girl that I want you to have, you know, I want you guys to have some kids. And it was like messed up, obviously. Then they fell in love and had kids. And the leader was like, no, that's not okay. It's like, what the, what the, what the, you got what you wanted. Like, what, what's the problem, you know? Like, sheesh. I don't know, man. The leader, the leader of the Lopobia family is the most unknown of the 10, in my opinion. Like, we don't know anything about him. We know he can mind control people, and we know a little bit about him from the, from like these recent chapters, but we don't know what he, what his name is, unless his name is just Lopobia. You know, we don't know what he really looks like. We saw one qu quick little shot. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, chat, calm, calm down. This is why I'm a dog person? All right, dude. And this place where you stepped in is his area. Yama doesn't know. Holy frick, dude, Yama doesn't know. Yama do You literally, okay, the irony of this is you could almost compare this to like catching and trapping an animal. Yama literally walked into the cage, right? Ah, huh? ah, huh? he literally walked into the cage. Oh, geez, bro. Not like you had much choice, but still. You should have fled when I warned you. Uh, are we ending there? For the for the for the fight? 52nd floor, the one high above. Wait a minute. I forget if I pointed this out, but the one high above is the leader of the Lopobia. Are we actually gonna meet the leader of the Lopo BFA? There's no way, right? There's no way, right? The One High Above, Chapter 2. Inside the wall. In passage to the nest. Oh, it's th it's the squad. All right, the squad is, they're flying in Huaryun's little ship. How's Bum? He hasn't woken up yet. This has already been his second battle since entering the wall. He's pushing himself too hard. At this rate, he'll wake up soon. It'll be okay. Huaryun's like, bro, Chill out. I know my god. Like, he's gonna be okay. But... Hey, bro! <laughs> you were here! Asensio? <laughs> he's calling him bro. Dude, what is going on? Asensio is just chilling. This is so weird! A data human! Like, we only knew him as Data Asensio. It's so funny. It's so funny. Getting yourself a drink when you don't even know anything useful? <laughs> You're so stingy. Don't be too harsh. I came to give you some information anyway. Information? What is Mashini's plan? What is Mashini plotting? Why did she bring in Asensio? Why does she have her two other squids doing... Like, what? Shall we talk somewhere private for a bit? I can't believe... First of all, Vicente found a shirt. Thank God. Second of all, I can't believe Vicente's here. He's a character. White is gone. Joaquin is gone. That blows my mind. That blows my mind, dude. Can you imagine when he comes back, though? He's gonna be pissed, bro. He's gonna be so angry. Oh, shoot. Asensio is such a bro. He really is, man. He's like, hey, what's going on? I'm a part of the team, right? Let's go. Bar inside the floating ship. So... I hear you have a connection with quite a dangerous guy. I don't know in detail, since I only heard a bit. But he's dangerous. I know. Well, I've got to say, I can picture you two together, right? It's not such a bizarre combination. Is he shipping it? He's a shipper? I'm kidding. Cut the chatter and get to the point. If, you've, if you're here to sound me out, it's no use. Don't be so cranky. I get it. <laughs> he's like, dude, I, I've, I've been alive for thousands of years, okay? I'm here to tell you something useful. I'm here to tell you something seriously. Oh, okay. It's classified information. Okay. But I'll tell you, since you guys already have a rough idea about it, 
You know Jihad's army is after you guys, right? What? That's crazy! I had no idea! Flashback to the freaking last station. Actually, Jihad's army was ordered to kill all the regulars who were on the hell train. Let's not forget that. Even a fool knows that. And the other order! Wait a minute, bro! The other order was... Well, one of the orders was wipe out Fug, which is like, you're an idiot. You're never wiping out Fug. That's like, you're, you, know, you can't wipe out a, a, an idea, you know? But he's gonna say, wipe out the Pobadow family to wage war against the Pobadow. Dude, I don't know what Jihad, Jihad, you know? And the thing about it is when Jihad issues three orders, right? He wants you to choose one. But Adori Jihad said no. We're doing all three. Or at least that's what she wanted. I don't know if they're doing all three. But like, she was like, oh, okay. She's such a Jihad simp that she'll freaking. I mean, maybe that's the wrong word. I mean, she's kind of his daughter, but like. Let's not talk about that. Um, you know, so it's like a freaking. Whatever. But like, you, you get my point. Adori is like gung ho about this sort of thing. Dr. Bonehead's my boy. What's up, dad? Adori's waifu? I mean, so, you know what's weird about Adori, right? Everyone always says, Adori is waifu. I love Adori. Oh my gosh, I ship Adori with bomb. Adori with Kuhn. I saw someone shipping Adori with Kuhn, and I was like, okay, we've never met Adori, you know what I mean? It's the same with Enryu. People are like, oh, Enryu's my favorite character. Or me and Joe do the tier list, and it's like, oh, you didn't rank Enryu super high? It's like we haven't met these characters. Although I think it's a lot of fun to, to, to think about. You know? The whole daughter becomes wife thing is so... It's pretty... It's pretty weird. I'm not gonna lie. It's like... The thing about it though is Jihad established that system intentionally knowing that they'll never achieve it. You know what I mean? They'll never actually achieve it. He literally set up the princess system so that you cannot gather the 13 weapons. You know? Or the ghost will go after you. Or the system is designed so that it's going to be practically impossible. But yeah. Anyway, anyway so <laughs> pretty crazy. We've seen Adori's back. You're not wrong. We've seen Adori's back. There you go. Bomb X Eden. All right, let's call. Let's get back on track, okay? Let's uh, let's get back on track. Oh jeez. It still grows. No, I I did not deny. It. It's very odd and weird. And Jihad, it's it's like Jihad, dude. I get that you you're you're angry about you know losing your love or whatever. And she she fell in love with V instead. Boo hoo. Get over it. But like you didn't have to you didn't have to do this. You know, there was there were other ways to like have children. And I don't know. It's freaking weird, man. It's almost like he's saying no one. I do, I only deserve. Someone with my... Anyway. Wardass, thank you so much for the super chat saying, I shall simp for Adori. If you all don't know, Wardass is the biggest friggin' Adori simp I've ever seen. Uh, shout out. Thank you, Wardass. Appreciate that. All right. And the other order was to wage war against the Pobadao family. What are you doing, man? Jaha... Like, what are you doing? Kun didn't know that. What? A war? <gasps> Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is Asensio implying, I could be wrong about this, but hear me out. Is Asensio implying that the Pobadao family is going to arrive and fight the Lopobia family? If that's the case, just hear me out. I know it, just hear me out, hear me out. It'd be kind of stupid on, on, Pob on Pobadao's part, but Gusting's a genius. I feel like if he did it, he'd have a good reason for it. He's literally like the master tactician. But also, right, if that did happen, that means Rachel could come back. I'm just throwing out, I'm just saying, Rachel could be making a comeback. I'm, ju I'm just throwing it out there. I think that's the case. All right, let's go back. All right. A war? 
<laughs> Everyone says no. <laughs> I'm just, look, don't get mad. I'm thro I'm being honest though, because Rachel's an important character who hasn't been seen in over a hundred episodes, so it's a little bit strange, you know. All right. Anyway, let's continue. A war? <laughs> nonsense, right? <laughs> oh, this is Asensio. He's like, it's nonsense. Anyway, the military and the administration tried to clear the mission by getting rid of you, but failed. After that, it became hard to even lay hands on the regulars, which complicated things for them. The commander-in-chief, Adori Jihad, let's freaking, you know, shout out, wanted an all-out war as usual because Adori could probably take them all on, you know, she's confident. But the administration didn't want Jihad's army to confront the ten families directly. So they came up with a remedy. Oh no, oh my, oh no. Oh no. Have the ten families fight each other. Have the ten... Watch. To have the... Yeah, it's up, dude. It's... It's over! It's... I'm... War... It's... What... It's... What... I call... Bro, it's over, man. War is here! War has a... Dude, this is dumb. What... It's kind of smart, though. It's kind of... Jihad's kind of big brain. Or whoever came up with this plan. Kind of smart, though. You know what I mean? But... But still... As... I knew as soon as he said that, because... How are we gonna get out of this situation? We can't fight the Lopobia family. The only way is to have another family come in and fight them. Oh, dude, it's over, bro. Oh my, dude, it's over, man. I don't know, I don't know. Like what? Like what, Gustang's gonna fight the, the Lopobia? We gotta, hold on. We gotta look up some rankings here. Pause! Pause the reaction. This is a big deal. <laughs> war war with another. <laughs> Another super chat, Adori X Bomb, please, SIU, I beg you. <laughs> See what I mean, bro? The, the Adori sips are crazy. Yeah. Thank you, Wardass. Appreciate that. We're gonna look up some rankings here, alright? This is a this is a big deal. Because if this is what I'm thinking, and we're about to see like a clash. Let's look at this. Look at this. Okay, let's look at the family heads here, okay? The highest ranking family head is Arya Han, okay? He he ranks higher than Edwan, Adori. So it goes Han. Edwan, right? Then it goes Urin. Ha, Urin. Two Perry, two Perry. He's he's ranked high. Dang, okay. Eurasia Blossom. Pobid Augustang at number six. Hendolock Blood Matter. Jan Hana. And that's all we know. Oh, shoot. Wait, so who's missing from the rankings? There's two, right? We don't know the Lopobia family head's ranking. I never knew that. Wait, so, so, so Hana, Jan Hana is the lowest ranking. Jan Hana, okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Jan Hana, leader of the Jan family, is the lowest ranking, right, of the family heads. Then it's Blood Matter, who's a little bit, you know, assuming this is ranked on power, because sometimes it's influence. Sometimes it's influence. Ari Han, thank you, that's the one I'm forgetting. And then we don't know Ari Han, and we don't know Lopobia. But we can kind of guess... And the reason we can kind of guess is because we know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is a tie because Eurasia N was sealed. We don't know number eight. How do we? We don't know number eight? We don't know number. There's no. I can't see Ari Han being ranked higher than Ha Yuren. I always thought Ha Yuren was like the, you know, the stronger one. In the relationship or whatever. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, it's because of the tie? Oh, you're right. Shoot, you're right. Duh. Le Lezik just donated a super chat saying Jihad X bomb. Get, dude, get the frick. Stop it. You're going crazy. Stop it. Need I remind you that Jihad? Never mind. You all know how weird that is. Thank you for the super chat. All right, so so we do know the ranking. So it goes Bakery Yun, Yurin, Tuperi, Malik, PGR, Eurasia, Gustang. Okay, so right here, Yan Hana is the lowest ranking, and we know all the way through 17. You you guys are right. Thank you for calling me out on that. Which means that the two weakest family heads, if this is being ranked by power, 
are Ari Han and the Lopo be a family head. But that doesn't mean everything. I call him Baker Yoon. I don't care, bro. I call him Baker Yoon. It's like Bayek, Bayek Ryun. I don't know. I'm calling him Baker Yoon, bro. Dude, I don't know. So that means if Gustang fights Lopobia, I'm, my money's on Gustang. I'm sorry, dude. I place some faith in the rankings. You know? He's called the aloof wave. Like, don't mess with Lope of Pobedow Gustang. Don't mess with a guy that looks at you like this and calls you an insect. Like, that man's gonna win the fight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Eurasia N is his daughter. Straight up his daughter. Okay? Her and her mother's he was married to Eurasia Blot. Like, don't mess with Gustang. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, dude. Gustang's family is researchers, bro. They weak? What Dude, you are dude. Gustang literally helped develop like what he's he, he researched Shinsu. You know? The reason we know what Shinsu even is, is because of Gustang. Partially. McSeth is also, you know, father of the workshop. Like, obviously, a massive, uh, had a massive role in that. Bro, do not underestimate Gustang because he's a researcher. This man's been alive for like 20,000 years, all right? Like, do I need to defend my boy Gustang? This man would dominate. Against the low Pobia family head, it'd probably be close. It'd probably be like a, a close battle. Although his ranking is rather low. All right, a little bit of shade, but whatever. Gustang still holds a massive amount of power and skill. Simply his presence alone caused Madarako great fear. Madarako's trash, whatever. His tremendous power was sufficiently great that when he arrived at the floor of death, he was able to paralyze Joaquin. This isn't that impressive. Joaquin was a regular at the time. He was an expert of science and medicine. Do not mess with a wave controller who is an expert of science and medicine. He'll inject you with a poison and you're gonna die, bro. Like it did, come on. Come on, like it's over. It is known that he was highly skilled in using Shinsu to assist as a support wave controller. Don't underestimate supports. In contrast to Blossom, who is the offense. Gustang's mastery of Shinsu allowed him mastery of Shinsu. Mastery of Shinsu allowed him to be the first one to, the first one to systematically analyze and classify Shinsu, starting the research association. Research of blah, 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 blah. Okay. Dude. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Bryce, exact or Bruce, sorry. Bruce, exactly. He healed Rachel just by looking at her. This guy stared at Rachel and she was cured of her poison. It's over. Like, dude, you're done. Don't underestimate Gustang just because he's a support, bro. He's not just a support. You know? It's kind of like when you play those games and it's like, oh, this is a support character. And the support character, like, dominates the game. It's like, that's Gustang, man. Do not underestimate Gustang. Anyway, <laughs> back on track with the chapter reaction. That was a fun little, uh, fun little tangent there. What are we doing on the wiki page? <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. I was having some fun, okay? I was having some fun. Do a family head ranking? Ooh. I mean, like, we know the ranking, though. Unless you unless you want me to, like, throw in my personal opinion, that would be pretty fun. Lopabia has, like, 20 Shinwei. Uh, you know what? Okay, it's only fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll get back on track. I gotta give you know, the Lopo Bia family had a, a fair a shakedown. Just, you know, it, it's only fair. By the way, this is the only known shot of the family head, unless fast pass, but don't spoil. His eighth son is the giant snake, blah, 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 blah. He took into his side, okay. Powers and abilities. As the leader of the Lopo Bia family, he said to be the strongest, wait, what? Oh, the strongest warrior of the entire great family, of course, even compared to the other core forces. Evan Kell, believes him to be capable of destroying all of Fog forces fighting in the Battle of the Nest. The very idea of him personally entering the battle said to be capable of terrifying all of Fog's forces into retreating. And and by the way, Hansung like pissed his pants also. Can we, I just want to point that out. Hansung was like, oh, <laughs> I'm out. Like, I can't do this, bro. And Hansung's a genius, but obviously the difference is insane. One of the strongest members, Isracha, also stated that his and Baylord Yama's power pales in comparison 
Going as far as to state, Lord Lopobia would look at them both like cute pets. He is considered the best anima in the tower. It is said he can control all Shinwei and animals of the tower. As well as humans. He can literally mind control humans. And y'all are, okay. That being said though, Gustang wins. Uh, Gustang wins, like my money's on Gustang. Anyway, all right, back on track, here we go. <laughs> back on track. That was a fun little tangent, but you know, we do gotta read the chapter, I suppose. Uh, Janice Boss, thank you so much for the super chat. Let's freaking go. Even though we don't know what Lopobia can do, my money's on Gusting as well. Love the content, by the way. Thank you so much, Janice. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Let me know uh, so I can uh, remember that. But thank you so much. Really appreciate that. I agree, man. My money's on Gustang. Gustang is too smart. He looks at you like that and it's over. It's over. Okay, what, what was happening? Okay, wage war against Pobadao family. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Anything Yas can do, Lopobia can do better. Exactly, bro. To have the Lopobia family fight against the Pobadao family instead, that is. <gasps> no way! No way! It's happening now? It's happening now! Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! We're actually gonna see Rachel. Oh my, dude, we're actually gonna- I was kinda- I was just throwing it out there. Oh my, dude. This was our saving grace. We needed to make it happen. So the main ship of the Lopobia family- it, Oh, wait. Pfft, never mind. I totally read that wrong. <laughs> Is now on the move for the war against the Pope. Never mind. I didn't read it wrong. I thought I read it wrong. We're gonna meet them. We're gonna freaking. All right, we're gonna see the Pobadao family. Dude, Kuhn is handling it better than Han Sung. Han Sung probably understands the scale better as well. Is that really true? Right, it's highly classified information only known to a few in the Lopobia family and the military. How do you, how do you, how do you know that? Of course, oh, he looks so cool there. What the frick? Asensio, you're so awesome. Your feather earrings, bro, stop it. Stop, I'm not a Kuhn, I can't, I've never been a Kuhn family simp, but like, dude, you look so awesome. Stop it. Too awesome. All right, of course the Lopobia family had no reason to fight a proxy war, so they also attached conditions to it. That was to destroy the Fourth Army Corps. That was their condition. Regroup it with Army Corps Commander Liboric. That's why Liboric insisted on doing that. And Liboric, but... Liboric is a Pobidao! How is that gonna... Like... Lib... Liboric is a Pobidao! This is about to get crazy. This is about to get insane. My pronunciation is fine. I Epic. Thank you, Janice. Appreciate it. Shaking and crying at the possibility of seeing Rachel, bro. So they also attach conditions. That was to destroy the Farthing Corps, regroup it with Army Corps Commander Liboric and those related to the Lopobia family, and engage them in war. And lastly, to allow them to deal with the irregular Slayer candidate? Wait, is this Moshini's big brain play? No, this is Lopobia. What? Surprisingly, the administration gave permission. <gasps> I knew it was Moshini. It was so Moshini stepped up. Dude, Asensio is spilling all the beans. So Moshini stepped up and succeeded at luring all of you into this nest. She's so smart. That's why she arrived and kidnapped Jin Sung and stuck him in the bag and brought him back which is the home ground of the Lopobia family. They literally walked into their cage. Do you know why this nest was chosen as the stage of this battle? Actually, there's a warp drive that connects to Lopobia's main ship in this place. Lopobia's army can get involved here whenever they want without outside interference. That's why you guys were called in here. And you just, you know, no big deal. You know, just slurping a little bit. What, where? I don't know. Liboruk took the warp gate after it was used. 
problem is, aside from the warp gate that was originally here, another one was brought it. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, so first of all, they want to make a deal. So Lopo B is like, I got my canines. I got, you know, whatever. I got all my pe people. I want bomb. <laughs> He's like, I want the Slayer candidate. Oh my dude. Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> the Lopopia family is like, I want bomb. Dude, I'm telling you right now. I am telling you right now that Ren. Ren's gonna make an appearance, bro. He's not dead. I haven't forgotten. He's going to make an appearance at some point. And I'm gonna freaking flip my mind if he does. The warp gate connects. The warp gate that connects to Lopopia's battleship. It seems that insiders of the Lopopia family's army planted it uh wait it seems that insiders the translation insiders of the local family army planted in the fifth army corps oh i'm i'm just reading it wrong i'm just it seems that insiders lopobia's army planted in the fifth army corps we got there secretly moved it y'all are saying who's ren y'all are freak okay lopobia ren the first antagonist, basically, of Tower of God, the boy himself. Not dead, by the way. Not dead, okay? Need I remind you? It seems that insiders in the of Lopopia's family are placed in the Fifth Army Corps secretly moved it. Inside the Cat Tower. I gotta take a second. Okay, so... There's a warp gate that connects to his main ship in the nest. But they moved another one into the cat tower. <gasps> what is it? What What does this mean? Is Lopobi a family head about to walk into the cat tower? Because I feel like his very presence is going to, like, melt the... In We're about to hear some earthquakes. Without yes Racha knowing? Who the frick did that? Wait a minute. Insiders. In the 5th Army Corps. Who is the insider? Nanatona? It can't be Kendrick or, or Haracha. Hasacha? McCage? Maybe the squids? Did the squids? No, because insiders in the Fifth Army Corps. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I just got this confirmed by one of the insiders. Ninatona? So it should be accurate. Then those inside the cat tower are in big danger. Yeah, bye bye. Hey, Shibisu, I know you just survived like the craziest experience of your life with Hots and Cha. But I'm sorry, you're done. Peace. It was nice knowing you, buddy. Oh, sh There's no way. Wait a minute. What are, we what, what, are we, what are we about to see? Guys, I'm a little scared. No! Wait a minute. What? Wait a Bro, how, how can you do... How can you... How? Dude, stop it. SIU, you're trying... SIU has security cameras in my house. In my place. He's listening to my every word. Every word. And the second that, the second that I say, the sec, I've never. Every single chapter I've said, we might get love. We might get love. And today was the only day I said, we're not gonna get love. <laughs> Like, bro, what are you doing? SIU, you're trolling. Bro, it's freaking. Wait a minute. Oh, no. I'm ex... I'm excited, but, like, now I'm actually really scared. Those inside the cat tower are in big danger and we cut to love. Yes, I you. I'm, I'm on my, pretend like I'm on my knees. Yes, I you. <laughs> you can kill anyone. Like, pick, pick a character, bro. Shibisu, done. Hot, done. 
Elaine, pass that one. Freaking whoever. Don't take my boy love, please. God, don't take my boy love, bro. He's been, he's been through too much, okay? I swear if something happens to love. We've gotten barely any screen time of him in season three. Any screen time is enough, but still. D SIU? I don't see any mice around here. Do they even exist? What do you see? You're gonna... Bro, he look he looks so sick. This seems to lead to the opposite side. Should I go in? Huh? I'm scared. I'm scared. Please no. That's Cat Tower Hostage Camp. We've seen one of these before, but there's another one? There are so many prisons. Hey, did someone come in? It's this way! Alright, love, get the frick out of there. Here, just a second! Oh! Uh, hey! Wait a minute! What in the world? It's... It's... It's Grande... In Tall! Did I get that right? I think Venti's the one that died. Right? Yeah, Venti's the one that bit the dust. <laughs> What? What? Okay. Tall and and Grande are back in the story. You guys probably don't even know who these two are. Tall is the one who fought Jordan. He got his arm sniped off. Okay, so he's missing an arm or like a limb or something unless he grew it back. I don't know what's going on there. They're basically Paul's subordinates. Let me let me sit back down. Let me let me sit back. Dude, I just I swear, bro. If if something happens to my boy i will stop reading this story i'm kidding but like i'm kind of not though those who murdered chang we don't when we use the word chang on this channel we we say it with the utmost reverence and respect because chang was a real one bro chang didn't deserve to go out the way he did it's a travesty siu you gotta apologize i'm kidding i'm kidding but like i'm not kidding because that was free those ears are you canines okay so they were calling for him they were like hey come come here and you are i'm here to save you oh dude death flags i'm dude please no like I, really oh it's her take off the dude you're on the same team take off the mask but this prison won't open no matter how hard we bash it it's probably bound by the rules of the tower there's got to be a device that opened the door here somewhere what if they're, like, the ones that were planted? No. They're not a part of the fifth squad. What am I saying? I think other cannons are locked in here, too. But can you find a way to get us out? All right. I'll look for it, love. No, stop. Just get out, bro. Just leave. You're the only one that has, like, had a mouse, basically. What the... F the frick... The f what the frick is this? Is that a tail? No, it's just love. It's just love. Huh? What is that? What is that? Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh god no! Oh no! Oh no, please! Oh no! Oh no! I'm scared! This can't be- Dude, stop, 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 stop! I saw you. I need you to stop. This is illegal, okay? Here's you. <laughs> stop! Please, God. First of all, love looks kind of clean. But second of all, I'm scared. Oh, dude, stop it. There's no way. There's no... You're joking. You're joking. There's no... There's actually... The, the, you're playing. You're, you're making it... You, you're... you're Wait, dude, stop it. What? There's a light all of a sudden. There's no wait, there's I'm 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 thinking of the wrong thing. Something it's gonna be like a snake or like an animal. Something's coming out. It's, we're cutting back we're gonna cut back, right? 
Be careful, many people are after the irregular. I'm not saying we're on your side, but keep in mind that those far more dangerous than us are seeking the irregular's life. Bum, you gotta get up, bro. <laughs> you gotta get up and save love. I'll do anything, bro. Also, you look kind of manly there. What the frick? <laughs> I, what I mean by that is he just, like, just looks huge. Looks jacked. Not that that's like manly, but just like, he, I don't know. He's looking big. He's looking like a Chad. Did I pass out again? You remember everything, though. Where's White? Yeah, he does. What happened to the game? Bum, you're awake. Black Turtle. We're cutting back, right? We're cutting back to love, right? Kuhn, why on earth am I on the floating ship? What's going on now? Well, White is inside me. I'm another clone of White. He, <laughs> he lost power and went into hiding inside me. You're on the way to the destination after clearing the game. White won't be able to come out right now, so don't worry. Bomb is like, you know he's thinking about killing him. He's like, he's, mm. just because he doesn't, just because he can't come out now doesn't mean he's dead. White killed my teammates. He's like, bring him out. He's like, get him, get him back here. I apologize for his wrongdoings. This won't undo what was done. But I'll make it up to you no matter what. I'm sorry. Don't try to get away just like that. Bro, Bomb is pissed. He's like, I'm not done. Stop. That's enough. Ooh, Wariyun. She's like, I predicted Prince's death freaking like 300 chapters ago. Like, get over it. That's sad, bro. It's still sad. I understand how you feel, but now is not the time to fight in here. If we don't cut back! I love that Vicente's on the squad now. We've arrived. This is inside the nest. Kel and Yule. There's... We're not... Master, we're not ending here. My mouse is hovering over end stream. I can't do it. He didn't even do it on a clip. He literally just cut away in the end of the chapter. How hard can it be? To, I don't, you could have given the, I'm mad. I'm I'm mad, bro. I'm actually upset. All right, time to fast pass. Where's my phone? All right, sorry guys. Uh, we're done. No more chapter reactions because you know we're done here. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I can't stop doing chapter reactions. Jeremy Joestar, Cha is the only one who can save love right now. <laughs> A little, I mean, if you got faith in Charles, there's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, <laughs> oh, okay. You know what? You're right, chat. You're right. Love is about to 1v1 the family head, the true hero of this story, dude. Love is about to, he's about to, dude. Love is not dead. He's not dead, bro. Stop. You guys are trolling. There's no way that SIU would kill off the main character of Tower of God. Calm down. Love's not dead, bro. I'm, I'm just glad we got Love. I'm just glad we got him. It's been so long. We He entered this tower, this cat tower, and we never saw him again. It was sad, bro. Freaking... Oh. How is there no comments about love about to die? Cause we all know love won't die. You're not wrong. You're not, you're not wrong. I feel like love actually has a story. I feel like, 
I mean, more people have to die, though. Right? Right? It's not love, though. I actually don't think... I think the Lopo be ahead isn't even, isn't even gonna notice him. He's not even gonna notice him. You know what I mean? He's gonna be like, oh... A little rat scurrying by. I don't have the I don't have the time to deal with such a creature, you know. I feel like love isn't even on his mind at that point, you know. But the fact this was like the most insane chapter to me. We got so much. Poba Dow and Low Pobia. I mean like I didn't it wasn't that much of a call, but I was right. Like they're trying to pit the two families against each other. What in the world? What in the world, dude? The Po- the low Pobia family's on the move for the war. So like, where's Po Bidow? Is Po Bidow about to show up or what? Is that the warp drive Adam Kell was looking- Was that the one? Because there's two warp drives. I don't think that's the one. No, because even Yasracha doesn't know about this second one. They're talking about the main one. Which is currently being guarded by, um, Liboric. But this second one is a mystery. I'm pretty sure that's... The freaking correlation! I don't know, man! This chapter was insane. I don't know. My thoughts are all over the place. I'm, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. but it's a little bit nuts. Anyway, thank you for watching. Is Gustin gonna show up with you know who? Mods, ban Will X13. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I actually would love it. Don't get me wrong, I hate Rachel as much as the next guy, but if, if they bring back Rachel in that way, I think that's a brilliant way to reintroduce Rachel to the story. I can't believe I just said that. Cancel me, please. <laughs> Cancel my channel, bro. I deserve it. I deserve it, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, shoot. Anyway, thank you for watching. We're gonna play Rock, Paper, Scissors now. If I win, you get you gotta like the video. Like, I'm so, if you lose to me, right? Like, it's embarrassing. I always lose. Everyone always says they beat me in this game. So if you lose, you gotta like the chapter. And my stream. I'd appreciate it. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. Everyone else, throw out what you're gonna do. Do it right now, okay? I'll know if you're cheating. Throw it out. And here's my thing, okay? You know what you picked. You know what you picked. I choose rock. I choose rock. Why does everyone say paper? Y'all are... Y'all are freaking... I was joking, Will X. I wouldn't. We wouldn't ban you. You're you're a real one, Will. <laughs> Bro, what the paper, paper, paper? What's up with all the papers? Y'all are such liars. Bro. I mean, you couldn't have lied because. Hmm. 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 I lost. Don't worry. I said scissors. Thank you, silly. I appreciate it. Or silly, 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 or silly. Well, silly sounds weird. I've done that to you before. And I, I've done that. It's Siley. I'm sorry, Siley. I, I keep calling you silly. Why do I do that? All right. Well, you know if you lost. If you lost, you gotta like the video. I'm sorry. You gotta do it. All right. It's just it's a it's tradition around here. Appreciate it. Now here's here's the big thing. Okay. I still will have a couple videos that should go up. Um. In the, in the next, like, week or so. But, but, we are going on a holiday break. We are going on holiday break. Which means, next Sunday, will be, I will not be doing a chapter reaction. Instead, the week after. The week after, I'm gonna react to both chapters. Okay? It'll be a double reaction because I will not be making it next week. Okay? Just making that clear. I can't do next week. We're gonna do two episodes, two weeks from today. I've got family, I've got events. You know how it is. The day after, 
you know, the day after uh, Christmas and all that. So, you know how it is. Merry, yeah, happy holidays, everyone. To everyone who celebrates or however you celebrate, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. Um, you know, like I said, maybe a couple more videos and stuff. Once the new year, once the new year rolls along, it's over, dude. Like, content, I'm so excited, actually. We're gonna make so much content. Really excited. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. Peace out. Also, Towers and Gods, episode seven. A ton of fun. I'm re-watching it right now because it's it was hilarious and insane. So, check out Towers and Gods. See you later. Peace out. Your name, my name is Silly. It, wait, it is Silly? Okay. <laughs> I'll call you Silly then. Thanks. Peace.